Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries. And what do you do when you find the one? You know what I'm talking about. The one Bible that meets all your needs and wants. The Bible you've been looking for for a long time. What do you do when you find it? Well, this is the one that I have found. This is the Schuyler Canterbury. And you can find another more in detailed video that I've done on this Bible. But it is everything that I like. I love the raised hubs. It has six. The printing is really good. I love the goat skin. It is supple, but very durable. I've never scratched it. The perimeter stitching all around is well done. The color combination is just, yeah, I can still keep the card, is just very nice. You got the black. This is the uh, calfskin liner. It's a dark red, and you got that gold line there as well. It is edged line for durability. And also for durability, to help the Bible lay flat, all the pages are gathered in signatures and in Smythe sewn. Paper is from France. The Bible does have two column, except for the Psalm, which is single column. This was a 28 GSM paper. So it does make the Bible thinner and lighter. And that's what I really love, especially in my devotions, but in my teaching and preaching, I carry my Bible a lot. The red letter is a good brick color red. I really enjoy 2K Denmark's 11 point Milo font. The letters are shaped very nice. The spacing between the letters, the words, and the lines is done so well that I find myself reading longer and more. Also in the new 28 GSM, there is no pronunciation marks, which makes for a very clean read does have art guilting, red and gold. I put extra ribbons in there, but there is three very well-made red ribbons. If you're gonna write in it, it does well. Definitely use the Pigma Micron. I use the 005 to write and underline with a clear ruler. Does have a dictionary to the King's English. And it does have a good concordance. The only thing I would love to change, and if they came out with another Canterbury that had this change on it, yes, I would buy it too, is larger print font. And right after the concordance, there's line paper you can write notes in, I have. It does have your maps. There's 12 of them. As your index to the maps. So what do you do when you find the one? Now, I'm a Bible reviewer, so I'll still get other Bibles and review them for, for people because, well, it's an important thing to do nowadays because a lot of Christian bookstores are closing. And a lot of Bibles, like the, the Schuyler's, you can only get online. So people can't go to a store and hold it, look through it. So Bible reviews, I believe, are very important because we can give them some information. And the more reviews on each Bible, the better because they can really have a good sense of what they're getting before they put some hard-earned money down on it. So, once again, what do you do when you find the one, though? Well, let me tell you. You might find the one, but there's no guarantee in 5, 10, 20 years, they might not be printing that one any longer. <sighs> For shame. So, my encouragement, whether your one Bible is a $20 Bible, $50, $100, $200 Bible, is to save... Get yourself a backup copy. I have actually had a Bible in the past where I really enjoyed and I didn't and they went out of print. And I've had another Bible where I got and I did have a backup copy and ended up giving it away and sure enough, they went out of print. So I still had one. So you just never know. So get a backup copy and if you want, get two. Your backup and a backup to the backup because you never know. And if God takes you home, to be with him in heaven, hey, then you have three Bibles to give loved ones. Hey, this is just a thought. When you find the one, hey, 
get some backups just in case so you can live the rest of your life with the one. Thank you for watching. God bless.